in the Northern Cape. Everything around here in terms of the temperature is extreme. When it's summertime, the people they just want to run away from the heat. Temperatures can reach like 40, 45 degrees. That is why you see all these solar plants are being built around here. The Redstone Thermal Power Plant and the Aqua Power is essentially a technology that uses the sun's rays, which is then shone onto a receiver. The receiver is like a regular boiler, but the difference is that it is located about 250 meters up in the air on a tower. On the base of the tower, we have almost a million square meters of mirrors, which are shining the sun's light to the tip of the tower at a specific spot. What that does is that it increases the temperature of molten salt to 565 degrees. And that energy is then used to run a steam turbine at the base of the tower. It is a landmark project, it's one of the greatest renewables technology available right now. It has so much benefits to the grid, to, to green energy, to the local communities around here in terms of job creation, opportunities. So it is amazing to be involved in this project. My name is Moshe, and my area where I live, where I come from, is Khurumbatar. Khurumbatar is a very beautiful place. So in Khurumbatar, I'm currently the chairperson of the Khurumbatar community. Unemployment is very high. They cannot find a proper job. The Northern Cape is a very vast province. Lots of people, they really don't have a job. And the youngsters, when they get out of school, there is no job opportunities. We have the sun that is now a big asset to us. So any opportunity that will come to town, we will grab it to get jobs for people. I studied BSc. Uh, majoring in botany as well as genetics. Hey, plants, plants are like like my little babies. I really, really want them to be protected. And here on site, I work as an environmental officer. This area has got a lot of protected species here. We've got Sadalantia frutensis that they call the canker bossy, Brunsvigia, Alu dendata. Alu Herreroensis. When there's a new area where we have to go and work, like a virgin land, we, the environmentalists, have to go there first. If there's any relocation, we have to find a proper area for it. I enjoy my work, especially now that my taxonomy for plants is moderate. They don't die easily because of they are used to harsh environment. I think I do have that touch with plants. It's like they can listen to me when I talk to them. And when it comes to building these solar plants, it creates a lot of employment for local people as well. My name is Gloria. My job here on site is the cleaning services. In the morning, before you enter in the room, we are cleaning the offices. And every time I make sure to come on site with the ladies. The same that they are doing, to take a mop, to wash a floor, I'm also doing it. I'm not saying I'm a boss, no, no. I don't want to be like that. I employ three guys and six ladies. I can say I make different to 10 people to put something on the table. To see people are not suffering. You have to do something for yourself, for your family, for your children. Yo, I like my job. Really, really. I'm really, really, I like it. I want when I retire, when I sit at home and say, yeah. You see that one? I was a part of that project. The Redstone project is quite a, a new technology and the tower technology in, in particular is very unique for this, this continent. So th there's expertise coming around from all parts of the world as well as some local expertise. And uh, our major contractor is SEPCO3, a Chinese contractor. We have uh, contractors from Belgium, contractors from the US and UK and uh, Israel. We have uh, an Austrian company doing the, the, the slip forming for us. It's a very complex project and the idea here is to use them and transfer skills to local communities here so that they too can develop in terms of their expertise as well and, and, and service the power plant during operations as well. 
My name is Linga Wichozela. I work for Sepco3 on the Redstone project. I'm a civil engineer and my job is to solve problems for all the contractors. It's actually very exciting. We're building the biggest concentrated solar power tower in the southern hemisphere. A uh, majority of the workers on site are South African and they use a skills transfer. We've got training that takes place. People that came in with no training at all have been trained now to, let's say for example, working at heights. It's actually awesome for me. When I started in the renewable energy industry, I thought to myself, I never want to go out again. If the world carries on the way it's going now, we are set for a very bad ending. So I think renewable is the future. My name is Sana, Sana Siboni. I'm the managing director of Mkandi Holdings, one of the subcontractors of Fairbank International. And uh, right now we're involved in doing the concrete. This is the structure of the tower itself. I am from Postmansburg. Postmansburg is about 30 kilos from here. Most of our workers are from this district municipality. Uh, we really focused on local people who need employment. We've got about 140 people. All of my people work at Hans. Everyone currently is up there. There's, there's no work being done at the bottom. There's a lot of construction that is happening in this area. The people here, they're able to equip themselves with the skills and necessary experience to take them to the next job. They are able to, to improve their lives. We are impacting not only one person, but a breadwinner who has to look after four people. And so the multiplier factor on providing one opportunity on this plant is, is amazing. It is a great feeling. It's fulfilling. It's one of those feelings that I can't really put into words. But I go to sleep very well at night, knowing that I'm able to provide jobs for people that really need jobs. I feel like this is my purpose on earth and I'm happy to be working in my purpose. So Aqua, they take up a lot of youngsters and a lot of unemployed people. That's really brought big, big opportunities to our town and we are grateful. My name is Pulani Mkhwere. I'm the head of HR, talent and corporate social responsibility for the Southern Africa region. Where my passion is going to a community and having a chat with them, engaging with them, understanding what challenges they have, and then being able to come back and providing an opportunity or a platform for them to achieve that, for me, is important and fulfilling. Spanish, carrots, ayer, tomatoes. Beetroot and the pampunki and the mini stalkons plant all as this will be detained from us. We are partnering with the University of Stellenbosch where we bring in hydroponic farming to the farming communities. The benefit of the hydroponic farming is that they're able to have a bigger market where they can sell and then be able to generate income. Ons man die tenke eerst voor, maar doen ons die zonnetjes, maar gooi ons die kinsmis in die emmers. Naar roer ons, naar roer ons met die water, dan gaan we gooi ons met die tank. Oulan het gesê sal vir ons die market kreeg daar by die dorp, dan sal ons geld maak, want altyd ons het iets so baie geld gemaakt het. Ons het gesafar, Nu as as ons market kry, ons sal weet, ons sal die geld maak. Very fulfilling that, you know, you can see that the work that you're doing is making a huge difference in the next person. All of the social economic development at the local high school, which is Daniel Scale High School, we are going to assist them with the upgrading of the security of their workshops, of the technical classes. It feels great, I must say, it feels great. I'm just looking forward for bigger projects, for bigger social economic development projects that will do, because this is just the beginning, as the project is still in construction, but when the project is in operation, then we will just do 
greater projects, bigger projects, bigger impact to the community. I love it. It's, it's one of the greatest experiences ever to be able to, over a short period of time, build something that is, has long-lasting benefits to the community and the country. It has the capacity to be able to service around 200,000 homes that can be used during the peak hours in the evenings and at night if needed be. And for a renewable plant, that is a remarkable achievement. For me, it's breathtaking. My hope is that more and more investors come into the country and invest in renewable energy. It will open up more job opportunities and economic viability that this country so much need at this moment. For us to drive uh, socio-economic transformation in this community and the region for that matter, it's an important imperative. However, I think the true benefit of this project will come during operations. 15% of the project's dividends will be going to the community trust and that will be playing a huge role in terms of socio-economic projects, initiatives and overall transformation in the region. <laughs>